What is up? Hope you're doing well. Another video, another deep tea pickup. It feels like my channel has become a marketing channel <laughs> for deep tea. But as you know, I buy what I like. I like quality. I like good cuts that suit me well. And deep tea is really up my notch. I'm gonna not gonna like go into detail. I link all the deep tea videos that I've done down below so you can check them out. But as you know, I'm a big fan. I think such a slept on brand and the cuts, the quality, the materials are so experimental and incredible. Big fan, but yeah. So two new pickups. One is a jacket or sort of like a short coat. And the other one is a reversible sweatshirt. I think it's called a long sleeve, but it's more like a sweatshirt. So it's a hand felted merino wool shirt. And that shirt always like comes up on Grail regularly. And I've seen this thing for years and I'm always like, yeah, looks cool, but I don't know, it's reversible long sleeve, but not that special. But then when I, when I received it, I was like, yeah, I don't know. It's really hard to explain, but it's so much more than what it appears to be like on the pictures. And they got me thinking to like, okay, what about the other products that I always feel like I see online on Grail or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, those are cool, but I don't know, not that special, but then yeah, maybe there's big potential there. So reversible long sleeve t-shirt. The material is Karst, color 45, code is T-110 from the 2017, 2018 collection. Size is 50, really inconsistent sizing. Fits I'm a true size 52, if you know, and I was quite hesitant when I got this offered from a friend of mine, by the way, German YouTuber, cool guy, not that many subscribers. If you're German, I'll link him down below, check him out, cool guy. And yeah, so he basically, I think he's a true size 50, I'm not sure, but he bought it and it was way too big and then he gave it, wanted to give it to me. So I said, okay, let's try it. it fits me perfectly, I think. So hand felted merino wool garment. Let me give you a quick rundown. So the garment has been artisanally felted using a traditional hand felting technique with only hot water and natural soap. The process of felting wool with a cotton layer creates a distinctively textured fabric, giving each item a unique design. That is always cool with deep tea that with like many, many different pieces. If you know the knit sweater that I have, it's also it's machine knitted or whatever with a um, random pattern. So each each piece is unique as well. And it's always a cool touch to me to know, even though you have something that's industrially produced, right? You still have something that is unique and it's kind of cool, I think. So as felt is a non-woven fabric, fibers may remain on its surface. After first use, pellets may appear on the garment. Once removed by hand, pellets will not appear again, which is definitely cool. And yeah, that's it. So that's a tag. Then the safety pin, everything, you know. So I always like reversible garments. So the um, the other sweatshirt that I have from DP is reversible as well. And it's like minor details. Like it looks different on the other side, but not that much, but it's still a cool touch. This on the other hand looks very different on both sides. So this is sort of like a, feels like a felted wool that you know, you put on the tables like under, as a mat, basically underneath the underneath the plates. That's kind of how that that was my first thought that I had when I when I saw this. Kind of weird, but pretty cool to some degree. So when you look at the construction, of course, I don't think we have to spend much time on the construction. Deep D is deep D. Maybe a quick look on the back here. Really cool. The fit is, I would say rather long and a bit slim, which is typical to Deep D, typical to, to, to Carol as well, of course. What really got me interested is the Deep D shoulder thing kind of even works on this piece. I don't know how she does it. Probably because it's a more, it's not a stiff material, but more stiff obviously than, than like regular cotton. So here the shoulder construction. So yeah, pretty basic on the one side, like in terms of color. But I think when you have like an office job, like this can really work. 
And then of course, when you flip it around, the other side is the fancier side. But I still really like the light gray side as well. Not sure if I like it more, but it's, it's relatively close, I would say. So you basically get two shirts, two sweatshirts in one, which is always a good deal. So this is the other side, and that's like the, I've seen this on a grill for like years and on you know, many different sizes, of course. But I always was like, okay, this might be a thin long sleeve. And that again proves the point that there's a reason why they there are retail stores, right? Where you can try things on, feel the fabric, feel the cut, see how it looks on your body. And also if I if I've known if I had known how deeply fits on me and the, the quality, etc., I probably would have bought into the brand many, many years ago, but I, I never had the chance of trying stuff on physically until I went to Le Clareur back in the days, but that's a different story. So that's a pattern here. And as you can see, so you have the gray light fabric that you have on the other side, but then you have sort of like a top layer here, which I wonder how it will change over time with like wear and I don't know, your bracelet stuck, is stuck on there and like it gets abused a bit. So that might be cool over the years, kind of a random pattern, a bit busy for my taste, but I think still looks good when worn. But yeah, again, huge piece, small frame. Um, let me quickly throw this off for you. So this is what the long sleeve looks like when worn. So I'm not wearing any anything underneath now. It's a bit itchy. Usually I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath, so that's absolutely fine. But as you can see, it's a size 50. And as you know, I'm 191 with tall, which is like 6'3". So fits like a 52, I would say. Quite, quite the like elongated, slim fit. But I think you can tell that the fabric is pretty, pretty special. Really feels good, high quality, thick, super warm as well. Right, and then the super high cut here underneath the arms. And then you still have the shoulder. You can see here on this fabric. Pretty unique, I've never seen such a pattern. So yeah, that's side number one. And now let me get back to you with side number two. So this is side number two, as you can see, definitely more plain. Office appropriate in my opinion, well, depending on what kind of office obviously, but it's such a different piece, you know, usually when you have like reversible stuff, it's still kind of similar, like both sides, but here it's like a completely different piece. So you literally get two in one, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Feels a bit different as well, the, the material, even though the base is obviously the same. The fit is of course the same as well. So definitely cool for, for winter when you have like a t-shirt, this on top, and then you put on your churling or whatever, you, like your, you don't need like a, the highest or warmest winter jacket, I think it's is pretty insulating and keeps your body temperature at a certain level. It's definitely like the elongated and slim shape is probably not for everybody, I guess, like depending on your your body, but it feels like it's made for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm, it just feels like that and it looks weird. Let me know that in the comments if it looks weird. <laughs> Hopefully not, but it feels really, really good. So this was Deep D piece number one. I think it's a beautiful sweater, reversible, pretty versatile. When you're going to the office and you wanna be a bit more low key, wear the simple gray side. If you wanna get fancy, you use this side. So pretty happy, this is gonna be super warm for winter. I love the fit as well. So Deep D pickup number one. Now we move on to the old short, coat from Deep D. I don't know what fabric this is actually. 
let me check. Didn't have any tag. So material is shale. I don't know what shale is to be honest. If you're a DT head, let me know that in the comments. It says 48% wool, 40% linen, 12% polyamide, color 95, style is C-083, 1718 collection. Pretty structured cotton, I would say. Beautiful piece, gray lining here on the inside. To me, I would say there are three features that I adore. One is the color that I will show you when I wear it. Other one is, of course, the shoulder. But then the main star of the show is the protruding, whatever it's called, pocket design here. All right, so at the top you have sort of like an integrated pocket and then it moves out and stands out like this. And it's a really cool like mix between three-dimensional and integration. The pocket design is really, really cool. Super high neck, but yeah, it's again <laughs> difficult to show you. So let me just wear it for you. So this is what it looks like when worn. It feels like it's tailored for me. I don't know if every, every person has that feeling with Deep D, hopefully, but it feels like, oh. I'm not gonna mention the shoulders. Beautiful high neck. I think the shape of the neck is amazing. Let me just button it down a bit so you get an understanding. So this is probably what I would wear it like. So it's a relatively stiff and sturdy fabric, but it feels every time for future reference, every time when I'm filming and I'm making like this, I feel super comfortable in a fabric. So yeah, high neck. One of the cool details of this coat is you see here the flap and that you have the same here basically with the with the sleeves. Such a cool detail, you see like half a button and then it's this like 45 degree angle. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful touch. And as I showed earlier, the lining is gray, right? But then the sleeves have this sort of white pinstripe lining that the tuxedo blazer has as well. So this is the fit, right? Pretty formal, but pretty, I don't know. Oh, I fucking love it. So looking at the star of the show, in my opinion, the pocket design, right? You have those like protruding pockets that stand out here a bit. They're super integrated, but then three-dimensional, right? Here you see it as well. Integrated, and then they move towards a three-dimensional shape. This is amazing. Quite large pockets. This is what it looks like from the side. And then the back. So this is the perfect coat for spring and for fall, not too cold days. You can still wear this to the office, like it's pretty formal. But when you like open it up, it's still quite casual. So it's perfect balance in between, in my opinion. So this is what it looks like when open. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. So yeah, that's the coat. I think the short length is pretty cool. I always, when I have a coat, it's always long. So that's kind of a different thing. Size-wise, it's a size 50. So as you know, I'm a size 52 in deep D. Um, so I can't wear like a big sweater underneath or a blazer that would be too small then. But I think when wearing just like a long sleeve or like a double layer underneath or t-shirt and long sleeve. So that would definitely work or it does work. And then it fits me perfectly. So I'm quite happy with sizing actually, because I think when I 
let's say I wear a deep deep blazer and then this on top it might be a bit broad looking if you know what I mean so this is obviously not something for the colder month but for like fall or spring when it's like relatively warm this is a really cool touch quite formal for my taste or like how my wardrobe looks like in general but I think I love it I absolutely love it love the shoulders love this stiff fabric I wonder how it will look like or age when I wear it a lot I definitely tend to wear it a lot and all the deep deep pieces I'm keeping forever so as you know I buy quite a lot of stuff I sell a lot of stuff when I'm not like too satisfied with the fit and this happened a lot quite recently actually um, and that's always the case like when I get something in the mail I throw it on I like it I do a video I'm over the moon with it and then after sometimes at least after a couple of weeks I realize okay this might be not the perfect fit for me so I have to let it go but with the DT pieces I've never sold any DT piece before I don't intend to do so because I really really think this is such an undervalued brand and what you get is incredible deep 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 fan I'm sure this won't be the last deep deep video so hope you like him hope you like this video as well let me know down in the comments what do you prefer the long sleeve or the jacket do you like deep deep at all I think you do I think you should thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one Cheers.